All right, what we're doing now is just a recap on uh, lipos that I own and how they're holding out. Uh, all these two S's. These are fine Z batteries, not puffed. He's got a little gobwad of runs on them. These are good to go, no problem. I checked these out on the little lipo tester. Uh, I think one of these had a variance between the highest and lowest cell of 0 0.033, and that was the highest I found. It's one of these. I don't know which. Let's see if we can find it. Just a second. Yeah, this one. That's the difference in voltage between the highest voltage. There's only two cells, so the highest cell one and the lowest cell one. And that's 0 0.033. I guess the standard is you can have a little like 0 0.2, 100, uh, 300. I don't know. And you'd have to read up on it. Don't don't go by me. <laughs> that's just some crap I heard. So this ain't bad for being the most messed up one out of all these. So I got six 2S's, uh, five 3S's. This one's kind of puffed. These, uh, Electrons, he's haven't had a problem with them. He's got a lot of runs on him in the big heavy vehicles and everything. No problem. These, he's got beat up because of me. He's, this one's ate up. It got stuck in the gear or some crap. I don't even remember. And case maybe came unglued, but they're not puffed and they're balanced real nice. Uh, these four S's, these are good to go. Not puffed. I just picked these up. Some six thousands with a hundred C's. They're soft packs. But I figured I'd give them a shot. They're like a little over a hundred bucks for two of them delivered. I think I got them like next day from uh, uh, Amazon. So the power hobbies are power hobbies and these electrons are way in these peaks, way more expensive than these uh, Z batteries. But uh, I don't know. Are they worth it? Like I said. The only problems with I have are these six cells. These puff to like day two. So they've got a little puff to them. It's not bad now, but after you run them, they get hot and they puff up. And if they cool down, they swell. But they're, they are, they're not, they're not square like they were. And, but they're, they're good. Here, let me plug one in. There's not a lot of difference between the cells. Right, so. Let's see, 0 0.015, can you see that? That's pretty good, it's not bad for six cells. Let's try the other one. Point zero one eight. Well, not too bad for a six cell. All these other ones are way under. They're like point zero zero three or six or eight, so. Like I said, I'd stay away from the six cells if possible. I'd just get two, three cells, no, three cells, and run these instead of one of that. That way, if you lose a cell, you only lose a battery pack, and you still got one, and you can replace the one. So, I don't, I don't think I'll buy any more uh, six cells. I won't do it that way anymore. These are the battery brands I will not be purchasing ever again. These. Venoms, I've never had good luck with these batteries. Never, never, ever had good luck with these. So, that just came in some. I haven't even touched one of these for 10 years or so. These, these were all right in the beginning, but then they went south real quick. You can see the terminals, <coughs> excuse me, the terminals melted. And I think I toasted a cell or something. SMC's. I guess you can have good or bad luck with these. Once again, I melted terminals on this one too. Melted that one out. And then I think the cells went bad or something. I don't even remember. I don't know. Not a fan of these. And then these G forces. I actually got a lot of use out of this before I melted the terminal. Now maybe these melted terminals are all my fault. Could very well be, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> they still went bad. 
I'm not that bad at a bar seer that I fry batteries left and right. But yeah, so. I mean, if you have good luck with any of these batteries, that's hey, great. Keep it up. If you didn't have good luck with them, yeah, to learn from your mistakes. That's all you got to do. I usually give a place one or two chances after that. I just move on. I don't dwell on it. Just move on. All right. So those are the ones I will not ever be purchasing again. Like I said, I'd be surprised about these four cells. We're going to test them out. I'm going to go up to New Hampshire. Mow us down a track and uh, make some videos. All right. So, like I said, Z batteries, they're decent batteries. Ain't had a problem with them. These uh, electrons, they're good too. They're kind of on the medium price side. Power hobbies, never had any problems except for the success. Uh, so, it's all up to you. And I'm sure there's other makes out there too. These are just the ones I got. You can spend more, you can spend less. I don't think I'd go much cheaper than Z's. <laughs> I was kind of worried about buying cheap batteries, but I haven't had any problems with them. So, all right, till the next video.